So we're going to be finding some inverses here. There's two steps to this process. And the first step is swap, swap x and y. And that's the first step. The second step is solve for y. Okay, so we're going to start with this right here. Now, you should first think there's no y, yes, but remember f of x equals y. So we're just going to sub out f of x, and that's y equals 12x plus 3. So step one is swap x and y. So we have x equals 12y plus 3, and then solve for y. So y is right there, so we're going to subtract 3, and then divide by 12. divide by 12 is x minus 3 over 12 equals y and this is f inverse of x so that's going right up there for the first part now the second one we have y equals 6x cubed minus 6 so step 1 swap x and y uh, step 2 is solve for y so here's y. Well, we're going to have to eliminate a few things here. Let's get rid of the plus 6. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. We're going to go up when we're doing algebra generally. So we're going to add, subtract first. So x plus 6 equals 6y cubed. Now divide both sides by 6. And last up, how do we uncube? We're going to take a cube root. So you could write the cube root, but because you're about to type this in on a computer, that would be a one-third power equals y. And that is, well, our function was not named f, our function was named g. That's the inverse function of g, okay? All right, so our h function right here, that h of y is, uh, h of x equal to y, so that we're gonna sub out for y. 12 over x plus 6. All right, so this one, we do want to get x by itself, but the first thing I'm going to do, I don't like fractions, so I'm going to multiply by the entire denominator. You're multiplying the right side and the left side. Now, on the right side, it's going to cancel, so the right side, you're just left with 12. That's exactly why we did it. The left side, you have y times x plus 6. Okay, so from here, we want to get x by itself. So we have a few options. One of them is to distribute y. Another option that I like better is divide both sides by y. So we have this and then subtract six. Uh, 12 over y minus six. Okay, so hopefully you paid attention and you saw that I did step two, I didn't do step one. I said it's a two-step process and I gave them numbers. However, you don't have to do step one before step two. Uh, we'll go ahead and do step one here. I recommend you do step one first, but eh, I did it uh, the wrong order. It's okay. We're going to swap x and y now. So we have y equals 12 over x minus six. And what we're looking at is the inverse function of h. That is h inverse of x right there. All right, last up is the j function. So cube root is a one-third power. Let's do this in the correct order. We're going to swap x and y first. All right, now we're going to solve for y. So that's step two, solve for y. We need to get the third power out of here. So cube both sides. That cancels the third power on the right. And then subtract six equals y. And this is j inverse of x right there.